my name is Jill and welcome to Quarren Teaching. Yes, I am a teacher, but I am in no way affiliated with any school, any district, and what I have to say uh, with our videos that we will be producing is that it may or may not have accurate information in it, and it may. So <laughs> that's up for you to decide, but I'm home with my three children and we need something to do, so hopefully uh, you will enjoy our little production and possibly learn something and have a few laughs along the way. Hello, this is Davin. He's my son. I also call him Div or the Div or Divvy. Uh, he's the only child that has any nicknames. And one day we were on our walkabout um, in the middle of nowhere, safely hundreds of feet away from people. And there were these funny little things sticking out of the ground. Do you remember seeing those? Mm -hmm. And what did you ask? What are they? Yeah, totally. He asked me what they were. Inquiry. And I told him they were horsetails. So he drew a picture of a horsetail. Can you point to it, Davin? Where's the mm. horsetail? Yeah, and what did you notice about the word horsetail? It's a compound. It's a compound word. And do you remember what a compound word is? Mm -hmm. What is it? Two words combined together or doesn't have a space. Yeah, two words combined together that doesn't have a space. And so, did you know anything about horsetails? Mm. I don't really know. No, he did not know anything about horsetails. And I thought, hey, here's something that we all can learn about. And so, Davin did some research, drew a picture, discovered a horsetail, and then you also have something on your shirt that is a compound word. What is that? Minecraft. Yes. What are the two words in Minecraft? Mine and craft. Yes, so you can even learn when you play video games. And now we have Elise. And now we have Elise. She is the oldest child. She is nearly 13. And she's very excited, and if you notice, she has a little bit of headphone hair going on here. Um, but she was kind enough to help out in our horsetail inquiry, and she drew a really great picture. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. Are you excited to be videoed and blasted all over the universe? She's very excited. So, here is her drawing. She's not very good as you can tell. Um, so what did you make here? I made horse tails and there's two like like they're still both the same like so um, it's like two different stages? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. which one do you want to talk about first? I want to talk about the this one first. Okay. What are you gonna say? So it's called the in Fertile stem okay. of a horsetail. Alright, that means it doesn't reproduce. So there's the stem right here, mm -hmm. and these are its leaves. It doesn't look like leaves though, does it? No. Okay. But if you look really closely, it's like a bunch of like small leaves. Yeah. Yeah. Or bristles. Bristles. Or needles. Or needles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's next? Okay, and then the fertile stem. It doesn't have leaves like the infertile stem. Oh, it's not as pretty. No, but it has this thing called a, a strobulus. Oh, a strobulus. Uh huh. Yeah, what and that's that? where its spores. What are spores? Uh, okay, spores are like seeds, but not seeds. Exactly. Yeah. Are they big or tiny? Tiny? Yes. Yes. They're super tiny and they go and kind of like float around and burst. <laughs> Alright, what else? Okay. And then the leaves, like where the leaves would grow, are mm -hmm. right here. Okay. They're wannabe leaves? Yeah, wannabe leaves. Okay. And then there's roots mm -hmm. and tubers. Yeah, cool. I like it. Alright, kiddos, are you ready to go out and find some horsetails? No. Yeah. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, are you, you're not ready, but you're excited. So it sounds like we're going to do it. Okay. Say yippee. Mm. 
I'm filming. Okay. We're starting a YouTube channel. It's called Quarren Sushi. Quarren Sushi. Oh my god, I just want to be hit by a car. <laughs> Gavin, you're too far distanced. Last but not least, this is Picard. He's a 10 month old German wire hair pointer. He has a lot to say and he's really busy. Like my sketches, like me, my Gucci shoes. So here's one. Is this the fertile or the fertile or the infertile stem, fertile. Elise? Yes. Fertile stem. And see, here's the showy infertile stem. What's the evil witch in Sleeping Beauty? I don't know. What is her the name? Wicked witch. Uh, Maleficent. Yeah. Oh, See her that. horns? Mm hmm. Those are Maleficent horse tails. Dun, 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 dun. Dead one. Guys, here's some cat horse tails, I mean. <laughs> Yep, Picard, sit down. Stay. Start! <laughs> I saw that hair flip. Go. Alright, here we have a little horsetail forest, and it's complete with uh, fertile and infertile stems. And horsetail, which is the compound <laughs> word, oh, and they're very delicious, they're also full of silica. Which helps with strong. Bones. No, don't let them eat it. Um, it says it says that um they're poisonous if consumed in uh, large quantities. I know, but they say it's an herbal remedy quantities. from ancient Greek and Roman times, and it contains a lot of silicone. I don't recommend you ever eating a horse tail because they're poisonous if you eat too many. Cards, right. stop! Don't do it. Don't be like the dog. So, horse tail. They're also comes poisonous for horses. From it, the uh, scientific name is equestium. Mm. And the questium is a two-part uh, Latin-originated word from equus, which means horse, and seta, which means bristle. And if you notice on the infertile stems, it does look bristly, and very loosely it resembles a horse tail. Um, but the really cool thing... <laughs> Because horse tails originate from a group of plants over 98 feet in height. That's amazing. That's tall. That's yeah. very tall. Very, very tall. tall. It would be hard to trim if you were had a lawn service business. Um, so another cool thing about horse tails is the top of the infertile stem, I think, um, the one with the bristles, uh, that's where John Napier uh, derived logar log logarithms from. Well, because sometimes you look at something and then you get an idea. So it's always good that when you're out in nature to just give yourself some time to look. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can, like, <laughs> <laughs> you can really, 
We have to fill in these holes. And so remember, every day to play. Remember every day to give somebody a hug. Even if you're having a hard time with them, just do it anyway. And that is Quarantine Teaching, our very first time. No, my natural can flatten it. Aww. Thank you for watching our video about horse tails. Leave a like, subscribe, and let us know what we should do next. We're gonna go run home.